Welcome to this link training video. In today's video we're going to be discussing how to set up custom data to send from your Link G4 Plus or Vipec I series ECU through to a Race Technology Dash 2 Pro. At the beginning of this video we're going to expect that you already have the Dash 2 Pro talking to the Link G4 Plus ECU over CAN using the standard Dash 2 Pro CAN profile. If this is not the case then check out our earlier video to see how to set this up. The standard Dash 2 Pro CAN profile does not include ethanol content and that's something you might want to display on your Dash 2 Pro. So in this example video we're going to go through and set this up. First of all start up PC Link for G4 Plus and then click ECU Controls CAN Setup. Once you have the CAN Setup window open you should see that you already have the standard Dash 2 Pro profile being sent through from the ECU to the Dash 2 Pro. Before we can set up the ECU to send out the ethanol content, we need to know something about how the data for the ethanol content parameter is stored. To do this, go to the Test Calculator tab of the CAN Setup window and search for Percentage Ethanol. Once the ethanol parameter has come up, we can see the data about how it is stored and some other information. Importantly, we can see the width of the data is 8 bits and the ECU resolution is 1. We enter a value in, of ECU data, say we had 50% ethanol content, we would see that this puts a number of 50 onto the CAN bus. What we know from this then is that a multiplier of 1 is required to have the actual ethanol content and that we are going to have to use an ECU width of 8 bits when we set up the data. Now that we know something about ethanol content and how its data is stored, let's change back to the mode tab and start setting it up. So what we want to do here is select channel 2, which is our next available channel, and select transmit user stream 1. We need to use a different CAN ID number from the one we're using for the Dash 2 Pro. Let's choose 1200 in this example, and we'll transmit the data 50 times a second to the Dash 2 Pro. The next thing we need to do is change to the Streams tab of the CAN Setup window. Select Stream 1, which is what we chose here, and click Add Frame. Go into the frame you've just added and click Add Parameters, and search for the ethanol content. We now have it added into the frame and just need to change some of the settings to make sure it's going to work correctly for us. So here we're going to start with a start width, start position rather, of 0. And we've got a width of 16. We know from before when we looked at it in the test calculator that this data actually has a width of 8. So we need to adjust the width to suit the data. We can see here we have a multiplier and divider of 1, which is what we need for this data. So we can now click Apply and OK. Remember to press F4 to do a store to send the data from PC Link through to the ECU to be stored permanently. Now that we have the ECU set up, let's set up the Dash 2 Pro. Set up the Dash 2 Pro software and click Load Standard Factory Configuration. Once the software has started up, Make sure that you're using version 4.0.61 or later, as seen in the title bar of the software. Next thing you need to do is plug the Dash 2 Pro into your laptop using the USB cable, and also make sure that the power supply to the Dash 2 Pro is turned on. Next, click down in the bottom left hand corner and select the USB port which the Dash 2 Pro is connected to. If you only have the Dash 2 Pro connected to your laptop, then you'll probably only have one option. Click Read Configuration. Once the CAN configuration has been read from the Dash, you will see a message telling you that it is all ready to go. Next, click CAN Inputs. And you should see the setup here that we have 
that is to suit the standard dash 2 pro configuration file that is included in your PC link installer directory. What we want to do in this window is scroll down until we find a free spot at the bottom under the existing parameters, like this one here in slot 26. Click the enable box and then click where it says no channel. Enter the drop down menu and what we want to find is a parameter in which to allocate the ethanol content from the ECU. If you look down through the list you will see that there is no parameter especially for ethanol content. What we want to do is find a parameter that is not being used already that has the percentage marker on it as ethanol content is also in percentage. You can see that I've selected auxiliary 1 which has a unit type of percentage. If we look back through the parameters that are already set up we can see that auxiliary 1 is not already being used. This means that it is suitable for us to allocate ethanol content to. So what we need to do is click configure. We need to enter the CAN address that we entered earlier in PC link configuration, which was 1200 in decimal. If you remember, we also put it a start bit of 0 and a length of 8 bits with a multiplier or scaling of 1. Click OK. One thing we do need to be aware of is that the Dash 2 Pro, as it comes, is able to do 15 CAN parameters. As there are already 15 parameters enabled before we added the new one, we are going to have to disable another parameter in order to get our new one in. Battery voltage may not be very important, or you may not have an oil temperature sensor coming into the ECU, so these could be good ones to disable. Once we have disabled the channel and we have a total of 15, click OK. Now that the Dash 2 Pro can receive the ethanol content from the ECU, we need to set up the display so that it can display it on the dash. To do this, click the Setup LCD Data Areas button. In there, we are presented with a view of each screen on the dash. Now, as we disabled oil temperature, we want to look through the screens until we find an oil temperature and then replace that with ethanol content. Here it is on screen 2. Next, select the variable to display and change it to aux1 that we set up earlier in the can setup section. Keep the units as percentage, the display label to something short that represents ethanol. And then click OK. Now that we have set up the display and the can data coming into the Dash 2 Pro, we need to send the new configuration out to the Dash 2 Pro itself so that it is stored. To do this, click the Send Configuration button at the bottom of the screen. We may get some warning messages. Click Continue anyway. This process may take a couple of minutes. Once the configuration has been sent out to the Dash successfully, you'll get a message telling you so. And that is all there is to setting up the Dash 2 Pro to receive the custom CAN configuration. Using the steps we've just been through, you should now be able to send out any available parameter from the Link G4 Plus ECU to the Race Technology Dash 2 Pro. Should you find you need more than 15 parameters to be sent from the ECU to the Dash, on Race Technology's website you can buy upgrade packs that allow you to send additional 15 channels of CAN per upgrade pack.